Wild Card Custom Paint Pimp Wild Eyed Northern Boy Tommy Shoe. This is something I picked up at the car show too. That's 73. Okay. And that must be 72. Because here's 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. There's every issue there of Hot Rod. I bought them at the uh, car show for um, 50 bucks. And I went, I went through and seen if every issue was there, and they were. See, that's the shit I like, old school shit. And I got those extra too. Okay. It's freaking hot. And it's humid. And I just got done using that swirl mark remover. Now I'm going to go back. It's not a wool pad, but it's kind of like a wool pad. And I'm going to polish it. And then I'll probably put some, uh, after that, some Caribbean wax or something. Because I guess that will protect the paint, per se. Um... This is what I'm going to use as a 3M. Let me lay it down. It's a 3M a wool polishing pad 5713. And the reason I'm using that is because uh, this brand right here. Most of you probably ain't never heard of it. That's just beautiful. Production. Okay. And like I said, I bought a gallon of each. Okay, that's beautiful. Ugh. Before I get started, it's it's freaking hot. It's muggy. It's everything. It's 84 degrees inside here. And this has got insulation in it. So that would mean it would be hotter outside. And that's in the shade, so I don't know. This is what I've learned. Body work and paint is like religion. Um, like like religion, you believe in Jesus. Then you got Protestants, Protestant Catholics, Jehovah Witnesses, everything. That's all body work of paint is because everybody's got their own idea how to do it. And I thought when I went on YouTube, somebody would say, "Hey, this is the way to do it," and the rest of everybody would say, "Yes, yeah, 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 that's the way it's done." It's not like that. It's kind of like interpretation. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, but you know, whatever. So people can say I'm doing wrong, say I'm doing right, you know, matter of fact, no, I'm, I'm, I'm no, no, I'm gonna fucking be nice.
gentleman on the phone off YouTube said he's seen the dent I don't I, I, I watched my own video I don't see the dent but that's fucking beautiful but he said he's seen other flaws that's fucking beautiful too because I know there's other flaws but there was no reason to say that but that's all good this person has got three fucking videos and they're about a minute long so basically I'm not what I'm saying is when people say shit and they're not even busting their fucking nutbag out in the garage doing it their damn self. They're not even showing shit what they do. And you're gonna listen. Because you know, like I said, I thought YouTube would fucking just show me the world, show me everything. But I can't believe not everybody does it consistently. You know, like here's the, here you, here's how you do it, and you just boom, 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 boom. And everybody's gotta vary kind of weird kind of weird and like Kid Rock says um, say I'm cocky whatever and I'm gonna say I'm cocky and I say what and they motherfucker rip it back, back it up What else I got to fucking say? Not a whole lot of anything, really. Um, I don't even know why I made this video. I just got in the fucking mood to make it. I have come to a conclusion. I'm not gonna work on anybody's fucking shit this year. I think that's good for me, because I got enough of my own stuff to do. Everybody's a critic, aren't they? I'm not. This is what I was taught. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it, you know? It's like these dudes at the car show. Some of them weren't all that, but I'm not gonna fucking dog on them. Anyway, fuck, it's just me, man. Probably because of the heat. Probably the heat. And to get the cat had a tumor. 
got shaved a piece of skin off that big, and they didn't stitch it very goddamn well. I mean, seriously, it was like Frankenstein. It was three hundred and forty-seven dollars. Okay, it's all good. God, it's muggy as frick out here. I tell you, man, it's muggy as fuck. But you know, um, I figure I got one more good day of polishing. Nah, fuck, I gotta do Caribbean wax. That's kind of an impulse dog. And I know if you don't use Caribbean wax or what, yeah, I think it's called that Google wax. I don't know. That protects the, so you don't have to polish it again or something. And you know what? I'm not even going to listen to anybody's fucking advice. Because you know what? My advice is almost as good or better than some motherfuckers out there. Really? Because nobody can fucking agree on anything. Like, should you put epoxy on metal, then put bond over? Or should you just bring the metal down to bare metal, then put bond on it? then only put epoxy in between the paint and the bondo. I know I went over this, but it still goes to my mind. And then some people use extra primer, some people don't. Fucking wow. You know what? <laughs> Fucking cracks me up. Fucking cracks me up. <laughs> Peace of mind, piece of property, piece of oneself, piece of pussy, piece of something, motherfucker. Now I'm on the mad hunt for property again for a spray loop because the time is ticking out, but I don't know. Fucking start to ramble again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I call that truck? I don't call it a bear of Jackson shine because it's not. But I do call it this. <laughs> it's a shoe shine. That's what it is. Sayonara, people.